after I performed um, in Singapore that I felt that I got my Padma Shri. This is, should be uh, in 2017. Uh, I had a call from Tirumurti, T.S. Tirumurti, who was ambassador to the UN, and said, that, Ramji, do you accept if we give you a Padma Shri? And I said, sure. <laughs> so that was, uh, I think, around about 2018. The last time I was in Singapore with a full production was 11 years ago. In Malaysia, uh, my company, or my foundation, is one of those very few that toured all over Malaysia, not just in Kuala Lumpur. We usually have a season, a week season, for instance. Uh, for example, I have traveled as much as possible. So we, we can't choose uh, what you have. It's actually all depend on the funding that you have. In Malaysia, I don't think Indian classical dance has as much funding as uh, uh, a more contemporary or Malay works. Um, but it's just that, but you know, what happened is that Indian classical dance normally is not in the mainstream, but sutra has become mainstream. So our work usually is not just performed for one or two days, but performed for a week season in a re relatively big theater. One of the, the challenges of arts institution in Malaysia is funding, full stop. So even uh, if, say, the government will uh, announce that they have, uh, say, 350 million uh, ringgit for funding, you'll find that uh, 300 would go to operational. 50 would go to um, to kind of the government organization like, say, Aswara, which is now dispensing degree in performing arts and the Istana Budaya. So we are literally left with just about nothing. I usually get kind of a sponsorship, uh, but this time for Jairam, for the first round of Jairam, we had a wonderful um, sponsorship from Art Fast, which is related to um, Yayasan Hasana. Uh, and then, uh, you know, with that, it was a seed uh, in which we can, we can go on. I really think that there is a lack of really understanding that arts and culture and the humanities plays an important part in nation building. So they think that arts and culture will grow on its own. And then you will question who decides uh, funding. Now, I don't think people understand what is serious art and what is commercial art either. So this is the problem. One of, you know, when I mentioned that you cannot be a business center if you are also not a cultural center, this is something that is not understood by, say, the Dato Banda or even the minister, you know, uh, or, or the minister of culture. So, so now art and culture is under, say, tourism. And that can spell disaster also because uh, serious arts have always been seen as a kind of bridesmaid to tourism. And this also is, is, is not very good, you know. Uh, so you'll find um, that Artists uh, are charting their own path, especially Indian artists. They, they, they chart their own kind of path in terms of their work. So they are literally uh, surviving on passion. And, you know, this can be a good thing because they just do what they want to do rather than doing the kind of... Um, uh, uh, Malaysia truly Asia type of performance. Chennai has got so many pundits and the purists who say that thou shall not. But I think I get away with it because, because I, I am articulate enough. I know my rules before I break them and I do it anyway. I, 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 it evolves through the process. We are very modern people, but at the same time, we, we respect tradition. Some, there are people you know, in Orissa who are extremely um, uh, open 
and and you know they they, they like what I'm I'm doing. They're bored with what the the staple of Odyssey that they 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 come to see. And you know there is the sameness at the moment. You know, and the the dances are good, but there is a kind of a, a you know everything seems to be having gone through the same uh, oven. You know, so I I am absolutely confident in India that that I am on the right track so that's not a problem and in Malaysia too but the 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 challenge is to get the arts bureaucrats to come and see your work and they claim to be expert but they they really have not seen the totality of the work that has encompassed say Malaysia for example so I am one of the people that's say that there is a disconnect between the artists, practitioners, the scholars, and uh, the arts bureaucrats in Malaysia. Terrible. <laughs> well, aging is, as we all know, but more so for dancers, um, aging is one of the things that, that really, you know, I mean, here, here am I, uh, in terms of mentally, I felt that I matured, but the body can't do it anymore. Yeah. And yeah. on top of that, you know, I just had an ankle surgery about, um, mm. uh, well, five months ago. So I will not be performing in Jairam, so forget it. During the pandemic, when everyone is doing something online, I will also feel that art is not found online, but found experientially in the theatre. So that, that for me is a kind of a law. <laughs> I don't even look at my Facebook. I get someone else to look and I can direct it from here. Now make sure that you put this in my Facebook and make sure you've got uh, this. But I have never looked at my Facebook. I, I rather garden or, or play with my cats or when I'm free. I, I just don't I don't care for it. Yeah.